for chicken karai i have one chicken uh, you can take uh, four to eight tomatoes your own choice uh, then i have some coriander a uh, chopped fresh uh, green chilies maybe you know four to five green chilies the long big ones uh, mashed uh, minced uh, garlic uh, and ginger paste uh, then black pepper powder uh, dried red pepper a powdered red pepper uh, this is the garam masala um, this is haldi and this is salt all right so we are going to make all these ingredients into chicken karai on coal this is the stove with wood and coal burning so today we are going to cook chicken karai in handi yes and uh, my helper lala is going to help me how to cook it so we are going to show you stay tuned now the first thing we are going to do is we have burnt we have already burnt the the coal and you can you can bring the camera a little bit so i have like this mustard oil and i'm going to put the mustard oil we need a little bit of more mustard oil than usual for the karai and we can always add it later all right so uh, you can just show the how much oil we have put okay now let the oil warm a little bit okay so now we have one chicken whole chicken clean chicken with pieces so cha cha just put this in here so there are different variations so how about the tomatoes tomato and tomato all right so we are going to a little bit saute the kitchen uh, the chicken and i want you to focus on the chicken so we are going to saute the chicken look at the color how beautiful it is and i would like to put a tablespoon heaped tablespoon of ginger it's never enough and i'm going to put some garlic one tablespoon of garlic all right and we are going to mix everything together so in chicken karai i prefer a little bit of more oil than usual So now we are going to uh, put some chopped um, tomatoes, and it depends on you how much you want to add. I just like more tomatoes in chicken uh, karai, so I took around um, maybe six to seven tomatoes. I'm just going to stir fry and mix everything together the tomatoes the chicken ginger and garlic all right now i am going to put some salt just you know maybe half a one and a half teaspoon and you can always add more salt later I will have one heaped um, powdered red chilies, some garam masala, some haldi just for the color, and dried maybe. five dried uh, red peppers and powdered black pepper okay, so I'm going to mix 
all the ingredients, the, the spices, uh, tomatoes, ginger garlic, and chicken together. After a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, uh, it's going to leave uh, the oil aside. And you see everything is mixing pretty well. The chicken is changing its color. So now we are going to add some ketchup just to enhance the color and the flavor. I'm just going to put some ketchup. I like uh, the taste of ketchup and the color. Look at this, how beautiful it is. Now, since everything is mixed up together, we are going to cover it and let it cook for another maybe 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, so let's see guys. What's going on with our karai? Oof, zabardast. Can you smell it? The aroma, it's so yummy and delicious. So now we have a little bit of liquid and we'll try to evaporate extra water. All right. So I have taken off the lid and let it cook for a little bit more. And with my punky, with my punky, I'm just going to shake a little bit in the right and left, up and down uh, motion. So uh, the fire lifts up a little bit more and the water is evaporated, all right? Shukriya okay. bitta. Oil is uh, completely diffused and water is evaporated. So now it's time for the chicken karai to be garnished. We are going to garnish it with fresh ginger. It's a must. Fresh ginger and chicken karai. And this is the final product. enjoy and don't forget to subscribe and like our channel